Oh. Hey everyone, I want to start off by saying I really appreciate y'all helping hey. us get to 500 subscribers. Um, today we're going to be going oh. over uh, five things that uh, that we wish we would have known before fully getting, getting into the game, before we started. Um, number one's going to be, don't build right here. Like, I think whenever we first started, we had, I had my little workstation thing right here. My son had his right here. <clears throat> Wife and daughter had theirs right down here. And this is actually right where we uh, first started our uh, first first base location. Before we even explored anywhere, we were just 100% following the, um, the tutorial in the beginning. But yeah, we started off right here. And it got cramped fast, super fast. I mean, it looks like you got a bunch of... Bunch of room. I mean, really, you kind of do because we had them, I think, like right here in this little area. Um, we could have built down there and on the ridges. I mean, there's a big blue circle, you know, but it got cramped, cramped, cramped. Um, but that, that, uh, that, and you're super limited to resources. I mean, yeah, you got some metal and stone right there, a little bit of small podium, fragment rocks right here. Um, but your your pals that you can catch, you know, right here in the beginning is super super limited um, If you would just kind of You know, this is where you spawn at you wake up here then you spawn here The first place I would ever recommend would be like right here if you um If you don't go with the number two tip or the number two thing that we wish we would have known was that you can actually pick your spawns. Um, I will show you real quick. Let me, I'm going to climb back up there just right quick. Actually, I'll fly up there. Oh, yeah. I'll fly up here. Um, that way, whenever I show you all this, uh, this is on Xbox and Game Pass. Um, Steam already has it to where you can pick your, your uh, starting spawn location. Um, so yeah, we didn't even know this until a couple, maybe 10, 20 hours into the game that you can actually bring up your inventory, your tab or start if you're on Game Pass or start if you're on um, a controller or Xbox. You go down to respawn. Death penalty set in the road settings will be in effect. Re re no, recommended for use only when stuck in terrain. So we'll go ahead and do it since I got my bag right there and there's a fast travel spot right here. So it gives you a four second re, re, a respawn timer. Boom, respawn. Then you get, it opens up all these freaking spawn locations for early game. And this right here, let me grab my bag real quick, is, is one of my favorite starting places. It's great for breeding because it's so flat. Um, let me respawn right here and grab my bag and then I'll teleport over there to where where that base is but if you would if they would tell you that whenever you first start then you'd have a way i think you'd have a way better chance of a better start because literally right here that's the, one of the best spots for we have our breeding mm. pin there and i will fly over there and show y'all right quick um make sure i'm going the right way yeah <clears throat> i mean you got metal here so there's another super flat spot right here you know there's uh wolves here the boars are here the chicken peas are here the catniss whatever here you got a couple tames that you are pals that you don't have from the initial starting spot um it's, i think it's just a better location to start in general but that's our little little breed breeding pen which we will have a video coming up here soon. Uh, put a poll out up on YouTube and it seems everybody wants a breeding guide. So I've been working on getting the breeding guide going for y'all. It's actually super in depth and super confusing. And I'm gonna try and make it make sense for y'all soon. Uh, expect that within the next couple of days, up to a week maybe, because like I said, it's a lot of information. Um, but you got two iron nodes there. You got, you know, giant spot that you can just you can, this whole thing that is super flat way better than anything over there by the beginning area all right moving on to number three thing that we wish we would have known is going to be your player stats let me hop off of this so in the beginning you're not going to have all the pals helping you right 
And so whenever you look at your stats, let me pull them up real quick. It says, you know, your health, we all know what health is. We all know what stam, attack, defense, work speed, weight. Whenever we first started, I didn't realize that attack is only for your melee attack. I'm not playing a melee build. I'm playing a ranged build. So I don't need to worry about attacks, like attack power. Um, work speed, I honestly think is pointless because whenever you finally work, you know, you got all your pals. You got, uh, let's go to power deck here. You know, this dude right here off rip, he's gonna be at every single starting spawn. He's gonna help you build everything. Um, so is this guy. Um, so is this guy and all, every one of these are going to be your early your early game tames you know i mean you're not going to have stuff that takes five minutes to build by yourself you're not going to have you know and by the time you do get to those things you're going to have your anubis that is like godly at freaking crafting which i don't even have him in my uh party right now because i've been breeding trying to work that out actually soon what i'm about to do give you a little sneak peek i'm going to breed this ferocious with this swift to get two golden skills and then i'm gonna breed a whole nother set with another set of golden skills and then combine the two and from what i've seen so far or from what i understand so far it's better to breed two golden skills against two golden skills you always you got a higher chance of of getting four golden skills versus somebody that has four golden skills and bring it with somebody that doesn't have so that's a little sneak peek like i said don't hold me to that that's what i've been finding out that's that's what i've been testing and that's what it seems like but back to what i was saying oh i've seen damage numbers back to what i was saying is this yeah like whenever you first spawn in freaking look at your spawns just like i said go right here Go down to respawn. Boom. Look at your spawn. This this spot right here, I highly recommend this spot because this right here, Doom Mud, is really good for the first boss fight. You know, he's a ground type. Um, he's got the scatter shot, whatever, and he's an alpha. So he's going to have better stats, better IVs, which the IVs we'll get into whenever we make the breeding guide. But yeah, I mean, this dude's phenomenal. And he's only level 14. So by level 10, you get you a couple decent pals you'll be able to capture this guy with no issue and then come down here to the first boss fight knock him out and then you got a major boost in ancient technology points so yeah this is i think you they should let you pick a spawn right after character creation to be able to pick where you spawn in at i think you know that i think that shouldn't be a thing and hopefully we get that soon because like i said steam has it um moving on to oh yeah so I went on a tangent there. My bad. I was actually on player stats. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, once you get Anubis, you know, he builds everything super fast. Um, your defense, I don't think I've put in any points into defense. Uh, let me see here. Can we see? Nope, we can't see how many points. Um, I'm super far from leveling up. Um, but yeah, I've put in, I want to say 15 points into weight. Um, I wasted points and don't put anything in work speed. I personally don't think you're going to need it. Um, I, I say stamina, health and weight, and then maybe some into defense, maybe, but I, I honestly think the food that you can eat and the armor that you can get and the accessories that you can get, is going to make up for your defense. So I would more than likely just stick with the health, stamina and weight, uh, definitely level up health until you get to like i would do a minimum of a thousand off rip i think that would be like level seven or ten put a point or two in the stamina put the weight until you get to at least eight you know seven eight hundred and then you know round up to a thousand health 200 stam and just kind of go back and forth between the three until you get your to where you want and if you if you get to the point to a place that you feel like you're good and you don't need any more health you don't need any more stamina you don't need any more weight then yeah by all means go ahead and put it in like your defense unless you're gonna go if you're gonna go with a melee build then i would probably distribute a little bit more into attack and maybe a little bit less in health and weight maybe maybe not health maybe a little bit less stamina instead of like shooting for like 300 maybe 
200 and then the ones that i that i wasted and work speed put in attack maybe but yeah that's i'm gonna actually next playthrough i might just go with a melee build and see how that works out uh so stick around for that um so the last thing that i wish we would have known prior to starting is your freaking shields like whenever i read it in the technology right i was like oh that's cool the first one unlocks at what level is that let me see um not mega shield is it a mega shield i don't reckon it's mega shield let's see oh common shield right here yeah so it says strange shield made with paldeum technology repairs itself when not taking damage so i don't know if you're new here we came from arc survival evolved and arc survival ascended that dome and the triangle it resembles the tech shield and so whenever i looked at it the first time i was like i don't need i don't need to have a tech shield right now we're in the beginning spawn area let me sleep so that way it makes it daylight and get these guys working i need to get some more cakes going let me see i got two out of there i got one in there but like i, I was like i don't need this tech shield right now like we're good you know nothing hardcore is gonna come and freaking attack us until those freaking right there the lavanders they showed up at base right at the beginning of a stream matter of fact it's tripping that's the first time i caught one but um but yeah it is not it is literally if you look <clears throat> right here in the bottom left hand corner let me see if i can make it do something real quick nope um but you got the blue the one two three four five uh blue that's your that's your energy bar you take it off boom right you lose your energy bar you put it on you got your energy bar back and it fills up but yeah it's not a tech shield i don't know i mean if you look at it let's look at it again i really thought it was a freaking tech shield i thought it was gonna be a giant bubble that went around the parameter of your base like i mean it's blue right if you look at your parameter it's blue then you look at the 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 shield it's bluish clearish whatever but yeah that's that's what i thought it was i was like i don't need that yet we'll worry about that later on once we get further down you know into the more hostile territory so number five is as compelling as it is do not use this what level do you unlock this at? i'm not even 100 percent sure let's look i think it's an ancient technology huh so level 14 so this is going to be shortly after you finish the first boss don't don't um don't use this basically what this does is like if i wanted this van wire van worm to be stronger right you're going to click on it and if i sacrifice basically four more van worms it will increase the stats of it, right <clears throat> so basically you're going to want to the, the stats like we got we got the swift right there and we got the ferocious right there if you increase it then you're not the, the 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 stats doesn't the four stars whenever you increase it with the condensation machine it's not going to carry over to the to the next breed it's going to be a one star so before you use this and before you start freaking leveling up like let me see what level is this guy um, let me see yeah see i got a two star freaking land ball because i had a shiny right and i was like dude yeah i want to make this dude strong because i can use him as a freaking house shield early game so i was like yeah let me get this dude you know leveled up let me get him some more life that way he can protect me more could come to find out you want to do the breeding before you do the condensation your con conden condensation that's how you say that i think that's how you say that but yeah don't don't waste your stuff don't waste waste your resources don't waste your unless you want to you know i'm not i don't want to tell y'all not to if y'all want to do that then by all means go do it i feel like it's a waste doing an early game until you get you know your perfect pals your perfect breeds that you want to use that you're going to be using for a long time and then you can focus on raising their star level because it'll just make them that much stronger once you get all the golden passives that you want 
but yeah, there you have it. That's our five things we wish we would have known whenever we first started. Um, there's a whole lot more that we wish we would have known when we first started. Um, so if y'all would like to know more of the things that we wish we would have known, uh, let us know in the comments. And again, we are extremely grateful for y'all getting us to 500 subscribers. We will be doing a celebration stream. We're hoping the celebration stream will be this week. Um, but regardless, we are doing a stream this week. Uh, if not, then we will do a celebration stream next week. Maybe we'll start streaming, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the morning and we stream all day until 8 o'clock at night, something. I don't know. Nothing set in stone besides we will be doing a celebration stream because we are extremely grateful and appreciative of y'all getting us to 500 subscribers. And we look forward to growing with y'all as a community. And we shall see y'all in the next one. Thank you.